Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. Obviously we've just passed the FA Cup. So what I'm going to do, because there's only one league fixture, I'm going to go back to the previous week in the fixtures. If you watch my League Two, you understand why I'm saying this. Um, so we're going to go back from the last lot of fixtures um, from League One. Um, but anyway, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, the link for my merch is down in the description below. So go feel free to check out after watching this video. Um, sum up League One, obviously we're not going to do it. A few surprises in there, or so, um, really. Um, but anyway guys, you know what to do, you know what I'd do. So subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Bristol Rovers versus Doncaster. Um, Bristol Rovers uh, draw 0-0 away to Fleetwood Town. Doncaster losing 2-1 at home to Sunderland. So let's go over to the league table and let's have a look at their form. Um, Let's start off with Doncaster. Doncaster have only won two games at their last five. Bristol Rovers have only won one game at their last five. So both teams going in with this a bit low on confidence. Which one going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Burton Albion versus Fleetwood. Um, but now we're losing 2-0 away from home to African Stanley. Fleetwood 0-0 at home against Bristol Rovers. Um, I think Fleetwood Fleetwood have only won one game at their last five. But now Albion have won three at their last five. I think Fleetwood are going to be slightly more confident going into this game because the Fleetwood have drawn the last four, whereas Burton Albion have lost the two, so Fleetwood have got two more draws over Burton Albion in the previous last five games, which one will go for a 1-0 Fleetwood win. My next one is Coventry City versus MK Dons or Milton Keynes Dons. Um, MK Dons Beating Portsmouth 3 1 at home. Great three points for MK Dons there. Um, Coventry City beating Wicker Wanderers 4 1 away from home. Great three points for Coventry as well. Um, look forward to this game. You got Coventry in third, um, winning three games out of the last five. You got MK Dons sitting in 20th, winning three games out of their last five. I think this game's going to be a bit of an upset, to be honest, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 MK Dons win. My next one is Itchridge Town versus Accrington Stanley. Um, I know Itchridge um, lost 5-3 lost at home, uh, sorry, away from home to Lincoln. Seven goals in that game. Great stuff. Um, Acre could suddenly lose a 2 0. Uh, sorry, winning 2 0 at home to Burton Albion. Um, yet again, go over to the form table. You've got Itchridge, who are in fifth. You've got Accrington, which are in 17th. Accrington winning three out of their last five. Itchridge not have a win in their last five. Which one will go for a 2 0 Accrington Stanley win? My next one is Oxford versus Wolfram. Um, Wolfram beating Peterborough 4-0 at home. Um, so great three points for Wolfram. Oxford uh, beating AFC Wimbledon 2-1 away from home. So great three points for Oxford there as well. Um, going into this game, you've got Wolfram... Who are in second, you've got Oxford who are in fourth. It could be a table changing game. Um go over to their form table. Their form tables are very similar as well. Um, the only difference is that Oxford have lost two 
and uh, Rotherham have drawn two. But I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Peterborough versus Ginningham. Um, let's go over to the results first. I'll do it this way. Um, Peterborough losing four 0 away from home to uh, Rotherham, um, and Gillingham beating Rochdale one 0 at home. Um, over the form table, Gillingham have won two out of the last five. Um, Peterborough. Have only won one out of the last five. There's a big table gap between them. Um, just three points though. So that's how tight this league is. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Portsmouth versus AFC Wimbledon. Um, Portsmouth losing 3 1 away from home to MK Dons. Wimbledon losing 2 1 at home to Oxford. Um, so going into this game, uh, Wimbledon only winning two out of the last five, Portsmouth basically doing the same thing, um, I think this game's going to be quite neat, I'm going to go for another draw, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is Rochdale versus Bolton. Rochdale losing 1 0 away from home against Gillingham. Um, Bolton uh, drawing Shrewsbury Town 1 1 at home. Um, that gap is looking bigger and bigger for Bolton every time I'm doing this. Um, but fair play to Bolton. Keep fighting, you never know. You've still got, what, two, two games in hand over some, three over others. So, you know, three, get nine points out of them three games. I know it sounds big. You can find yourself right in that battle. Um, but going over to their form table, um, Bolton only winning one game in their last five. Watchdale winning two games out of their last five. I'm going to go for a one now. Watchdale win. My next one is Shrewsbury Town versus Lincoln. Um, Shrewsbury 1-1 one, one away to Bolton, um, Lincoln beating Ittridge 5-3 at home. I think Lincoln are finding their feet, um, you know, all the time under less new management, um, but still a long way to go in the season. But Lincoln have won three, uh, two games out of their last five, sorry, and uh, Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury have um, won two out of the last five as well. So, you know, both evenly matched this game. I'm going to go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is Southend versus Tramia. Um, Southend, I, I don't think played, um, but Tramia did. They drew 1-1. One -one. At home to Blackpool. South end. Um, you know, sitting 22nd. Nine points. Um, Tramia. 21st. 21 points. Um, this game's going to be crucial, I think. Um, for both clubs. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 Tramia win. My last one for this weekend is Sunderland versus Wickham. Wickham losing 4 1 at home to Coventry. Um, Sunderland winning 2 1 away from home against Doncaster. Um, I'm going to go to the form table before I deliver this one. A few of you, uh, one of you did reach out to me. Um, I've got nothing against Sunderland. I don't, when I do this, I've said it once before, I say it again, I do it from a neutral point of view. Don't support any clubs while I'm doing these predictions. Um, but some of them have actually surprised me, winning two games out of the last five and drawing the other three. Wickham have lost um, three out of the last five, only winning one and drawing the other. 
I'm going to surprise you guys this week and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Sunderland win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fuck up and you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.